Hey everyone, Altair and King here, and this is the basic tutorial for version 1 of the plugin Rumi Chat. In this tutorial, I will show you the basic commands on how to get it up and running. If you want a more detailed description on how to edit the configuration files, you can watch my advanced tutorial linked in the video description down below. So what is it? Well, Rumi Chat is a plugin that will enhance the chat functions of Minecraft to give it a chat room like functionality. It allows you to isolate where people chat so that groups of people who want to talk to each other can do so without spamming everyone else. It allows them a bit of privacy and cleaner chat overall, in my opinion. Ruby Chat will also allow you to create rooms for staff members, and it allows you to have different chat rooms for different worlds if you're using something like Multiverse, or if you allow people to go to the Nether or the End. To get started, the first thing you'll want to do is download the jar file from one of the sites listed below. Once it's downloaded, stop your Minecraft server and drag the jar into the plugins folder. Then you can start the server again and you're ready to go. Once you're in game you won't notice much of a difference. The only thing you might notice is that all messages now have the prefix global. This is the first and currently only chat room. Everyone who joins the server will be placed in it and they can all chat with each other as normal. Let's create our first chat room. Let's say role-playing is a big thing on our server. You can create a new room for them to chat in with the command slash chat create role-playing. To join it, you can use the command slash chat join role-playing. Now you can chat with anyone else in that chat room and you can still hear the people that are chatting in global. The most useful command of Rumi Chat is the slash chat command. It will show you the main room you're talking in at the top and all the rooms you're listening to at the bottom. To leave a chat room, you can use the command slash chat leave. As you can see here, I'm now only listening to the role playing chat room. If you want an overview list of all available chat rooms that you can join, you can use the command slash chat room. If you want everyone to join a room when they log into the server, you can do so with the command slash chat set def. This will make it what's called a default chat room. Anyone who joins the server joins that chat room automatically. To remove a default chat room, you can use the command slash chat remdef. Now you may notice while chatting that the prefixes are kind of plain and boring. Lucky for you, if you're an OP or an operator, you can use the slash chat set prefix command. This command accepts all of Minecraft's color codes and you can use them to make a good looking prefix. Another thing you may notice is that when you run the slash chat rooms command, you'll see some numbers over on the left. These numbers tell you how many people are currently in the chat room and how many people are allowed in there. You can change the limit of a chat room with the slash chat set limit command. If a room becomes full, you'll notice that it turns red and other people will not be able to join. If you set the limit to anything less than zero, say negative one, the room will have no limit and anyone will be able to join. It's a good idea to make sure that all default rooms are unlimited. That way new people are logging into your server with no room to chat in. The final piece of a chat room that you can customize is the description. You can change it with the slash chat set D command. It accepts all the same things as set prefix does, like color codes. For my server, I like to keep descriptions short, yellow, and in italics. Let's say you're tired of people roleplaying. You can remove the room with the command slash chat remove roleplaying or slash chat delete roleplaying. Both commands do the same thing. So now that that's done, we can move on to the final section of this tutorial, which is the slash chat config command. There are a lot of parts of this, but we're just going to focus on the first four. You can learn about the rest in the advanced tutorial. First up is the configuration for global. If this is set to true, there will be a global chat room. If false, there won't be. Note that this won't delete the chat room if it already exists. It just won't try and create one when starting the server. Next is the global default. If this is set to true, everyone will join the global chat room when they join the server. If it's set to false, they'll have to join it manually. This only works if there is a global chat room, so if global is set to false, this will obviously do nothing. 
The next two are pretty common options that I think most people will want to play with. The first is the world's room option. If this is set to true and you reload the plugin, it will create a chat room for each world that exists. The next option is world switching. If this is set to true, every time a player switches worlds, they'll be added to that world chat room in a non-destructive way. What I mean by this is that if you're chatting in a world chat room and leave to go mining in the nether, you can still re receive messages from your friends in the overworld, and you won't miss out on the conversation. To talk to your friends in the other worlds, you can switch which room you're talking in by typing in slash chat and then the room name. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.